Hi, I just wanted to show you today uh, about the new JuvuX um, PC program and how to update your um, JuvuX uh, through the text file rather than having to do it by Wi-Fi. So I've already opened up the JuvuX PC program, it's the latest version, you can find it on the website or in our forums. And just as a warning, you do need firmware version 9th of April or later. Um, 2016 firmware. If you try it with any other firmware version, uh, I think the 24th of January is the last big one we did before then, it will not work. So you have to have April 2016 firmware installed on your Juve OX. So um, I've installed um, the latest firmware on a camera, on a Juve OX camera over here, and I've now opened up the latest PC program as you can see and uh, I've got three different menus but the only one I really care about is the uh, setup one so I've got main, mode 1, mode 2, adjust, photo and download and I'm only really interested in main mode 1 and mode 2 today so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some settings so uh, I would like the date format uh, so I've gone to main settings as you can see and I would like I'm going to click sync and uh, 22nd of April but I'm going to change it so the uh, the date is displayed first, date format, yeah. I always like to keep the beep noises on and the recording LED on. Uh, standby time, I think I'm going to have as one minute, and that's fine. And I think everything else there is uh, quite fine. I've got G Sensor, uh, uh, yeah, G Sensor is on, and the G Sensor sensitivity is at low. Uh, so I'm going to go to mode. So um, I'm going to choose, oh god, what should I choose? I'm going to choose mode 1 to have 2060, 30 FPS, audio on, video timestamp off, rotate degrees, I'll have us on, video clip length, I'm going to change that to 10 minutes, bitrate S final high, doesn't matter, and I'm quite happy with that, so I'm going to go to mode 2, and I'm going to change mode 2 to be 45 frames a second. Yeah, I'll change it to 45 frames. Audio will be on. Video timestamp will be on. Rotate 180 degrees off. Loop recording on. I'm going to change that to... What should I change that to? One minute. And then I'm going to change that to normal. Uh, no, actually, I'll keep it as high. Um, so, I've now changed my settings. Very easy. And all I now do is I just click download. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to just create a new document, a new folder. This is just for easier sake, and I'm just going to call it oh, Juvu X TXT file. So there you go. So I'm just going to save it. Now, the only thing I want to type here is just customer. Uh, the file type has been saved as is a text file, so we don't need to do that. All we need to do is just make sure the file name is customer. You can see it right there. And then all I'm going to do is just click save. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, as you can see on here, uh, this is my Juvo X. It's plugged in. I formatted the memory card in the camera. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go to Juvo X TXT, and you can see customer. And I'm just going to drag it onto here. I'm not putting it in any folders or anything. Just here. Yep, so when I go on to here again, you can see customer, DCIM, MISC, okay. That is perfect. Now, all I'm going to do is, I'm now going to unplug the JuvoX from my PC and put it into a power socket. And let it start up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the view now. Um, so I'm all good and I'm just going to... Start it up. So it's recording, so I'm just going to stop that. And I'm just going to... One, two... So I'm just going to connect to it on my phone. Oh, it's taking a little bit longer than I anticipated here. Do apologise, more settings. Yeah, I'm just going to click connect. Obtaining IP address. Connected. Camera connected. So let's see if it's updated it. So in mode 1, as you can see, uh, as you can see, mode 1, um, 
I have what I had, which is audio on, video timestamp off, video rotation on, clip length 10 minutes, yeah. And everything else is good. We'll go to mode 2. Yep, everything there looks exactly what I wanted as well. And then we'll go to main settings. And that's also what I had chosen. So as you can see, it's very simple and easy to update the Juvo X via text commands. I hope that's helped, and any questions, just let me know. Thank you.